Good morning, this is Claude Fullen from talking from Brisbane in Australia. I've just arrived here from Manila a few days ago. I'm in my family right now and enjoying the fresh clean air of the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. Now today's presentation is going to be or our talk is going to be on presentation, the last part of the core elements in your home based business or network marketing. When you present to people, the presentation could could be a few minutes or it could be a couple of hours, depending on the flexibility and time of your prospect. In the first part of the presentation, we will open up the prospect's mind and we'll call this mind setting. I will talk about mind setting and how to go about it in a future post supported by a video that you can also watch so that you know how to go about mind setting. After you mindsetted your your potential prospect or potential distributor, and then you should open up the, the possibilities of him or her looking at your company, the founder or founders, the product, and finally the business plan or compensation plan. Then you must follow up with the business packages at hand. And then finally, to sum it all up, you must connect them with their dreams that they initially showed you in the mindsetting part of the initial presentation. And lastly, you should show them how this the business that you are in could possibly help them in getting their dreams. And this is called the closing of the prospect. For the moment, remember, this is where you'll show the prospect a clear picture of why your business opportunity should be an option that he or she should consider for her or his financial future. Most often, you will not be able to close a prospect in the presentation in the first instance. The main purpose is to get him closer to joining you in the near future. Sometimes, a person may not join you on the spot. So remember to always hand over some homework for the interested prospect to do and make an appointment within 24 to 48 hours to follow up with him. Remember, it is in the follow up that the money really is year. So who is the suspect in your home based business? Early on in, in a previous post, I mentioned that the word suspect is anyone that you possibly think of could be interested in your business. This person has not shown any interest in what you do and so is so called a prospect. Until the person has shown interest and is asking for more information, that person becomes a potential prospect for your business. Now, if you want more information about how to go about building your home-based business, I suggest you add us to Facebook so that we can help you with more information and tips on a daily and weekly basis. Until then, I wish you all the very best in your home-based business. Thank you. God bless.